Well, congratulations. If you've lasted this long, you've reached episode six, the last episode, which is called Who is Your Jesus? Along with the shepherds, the other essential ingredient of any Christmas nativity play is the famous group of wise men. But who were these three mysterious wise men on camels? We actually know very little about them. In fact, we don't know how many of them there were. The idea uh, that there were three only comes from the fact that there were three gifts given to Jesus. They probably would have had camels, but we're not actually told that. Where in these did they come from? What exactly was this star that they had seen and found? And how exactly did they connect the rising of a particular star with the birth of Jesus? We don't know the answer to these things. So what do we actually know about them? Well, as well as their long journey from the east, we know that they followed a three-step journey of the mind and of the heart. Firstly, they considered the little bit of information they had, which is the star, and they came to a conclusion. They wanted to go and worship the baby that had been born, the King of the Jews, even though they were not Jews. It says in Matthew chapter 2, now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. Secondly, seeking Jesus actually led them to finding out God's word. It says in Matthew, When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. And then thirdly, following God's word, took them to Jesus himself. It says, following on from that part in Matthew 2, Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly, and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that had been seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. They met Jesus and their lives were changed. They worshipped him, they gave him their treasure and they obeyed the God who had sent him into this world. And that's the significance of the Christmas story for us today. God has sent a metaphorical star that has caused you to stop and consider the story of the baby behind Christmas even today. The star might well be someone you know, a major trauma in your life perhaps, or a trivial event, or a passing conversation. But somehow you've managed to take step one of the journey of the wise. You're now at step two, and now you have to decide whether you're going to follow him or not, to follow what you have seen in God's word. Will you bring your treasure to Jesus? Will you worship him and walk in obedience to him? I don't know how your story ends, but sadly, not all stories end like the story of the wise men. Matthew tells us how the story ends for Herod in Matthew chapter two. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious, and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region 
who were two years old or under, according to the time that had been ascertained from the wise men. You see, Herod's response is hostile rejection to Jesus, isn't it? The only king Herod wanted in his life was Herod himself. I would guess the fact that you have followed the Christmas story through to this point hopefully means that you're not like Herod. But there is an ending which is equally as sad, perhaps even sadder than Herod's. The chief priests and the scribes knew all the answers. They knew the Christmas story and could even tell these wise men where to go. But they did nothing. They rejected Jesus by indifference. Well, it's the end of our story, and we have to decide for ourselves. Like the wise men, we can acknowledge Jesus as king. Like Herod, we can openly reject him. Or like the scribes, we can reject him by indifference. The big question is, what is your response to Jesus? Please do get in touch with us to find out and discuss some more about the Lord Jesus.